It'll be live. All right, Shalom, Shalom. We the brothers from the uh, GMS Louisiana Saints coming back at you with another Shabbat lesson. Prior to getting started, as we always do, we like to give infinite honors and prayers to the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to the Occam's that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, this video will be at a fine first and foremost to the whole for elect, then to those that cleave to the body. And in today's lesson, we just want to cover the, the conglomerate of things that's been happening in the earth. It's been jaw dropping. It's been eye popping, man. All right. And the most important thing that it's been, it's been prophecy. All right. Prophecy have practically of uh, rubbed our people on the jaws and cheeks, man. All right. Though yet they still haven't seen what's been going on out here, man. All right. You have a pop zombie talk happening, man. You got a uh, 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 mutations. You know, the word mutation being thrown around, you know, currently everywhere you look and turn around, man. All right. You have the state, you have the uh the uh the, the rumors of wars going on, all right. You have the people of the earth in frenzies. Inflation has uh reached uh all-time highs. Okay, so when you really look at the uh the landscape of everything that's transpiring in the earth, man. This have to be alarming. Your antennas have to be buzzing off, man. All right? Not only that, man, you have you have E. E uh E have a I'm looking at this on that was no that was that, uh Ye. You have Ye, he have proclaimed himself to be the holy founder and uh, of the scriptures, man. All right, you have the book of Ye, which is Ye is short for Kanye. All right, which here is declaring himself openly to be a god. All right, you have uh, you have there what happened in the earth. Yahweh Bashima was shy have been completely removed from the mass majority of the earth. All right, with the exception of the prophets, okay, that's still preaching and teaching the truth in the earth, man. All right, our Lord. And Savior have been completely removed out of the earth. Antichrist are are coming out left and right. You have whistleblowers. All right, the Lord have have everything in the earth right now, man. Just it's happening rapidly, man. One thing after another after another. All right, it's coming down as a landslide. All right, but the thing is this: all these things were spoken of us, man. I mean, spoken to us and before us, man. And that's why the scriptures say before they come forth, of before they spring forth, I tell you of them, man. But we're at the what? Give me that precept you got, Amawai, Bible shot, bro. God, this is 1 Peter 4, verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Yep. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. That's right. So it says the end of all things. All right. We have in we are reaching the end of an eon, which is an age, man. All right, the age of the so-called white man, which is biblically known as Esau Edom, his age is ending. All right. Seeing that his kingdom, okay, or his throne is in is in uh jeopardy. Okay, this man is about to completely pollute the earth, man. You have uh, I believe it's 200,000 plus recalls of meat. All right. This man has put replacing replacement meat in the earth for real meat, man. All right. So our diets, I mean, uh, here if he's infecting you in what and through through your uh, through internally, he's infecting you externally, all right, even through the airs, all right. There's a great pollution of the airs. I believe uh that was the elders, the uh, elder Kazaki some while back. I think he him and Darash and them, them brothers was putting on that uh those the blick clouds of smoke. What 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 the uh name was it? You know, they usually use the, you know, the witch McCarver, but it's like a different name, all right, that they was putting in the air, and it's, it's like the particles was dropping down on people, man. I forget, I forget the name. Oxide. Yeah, uh, yeah, what it is? G graphene oxide. Graphene oxide, all right? You have to have the, you have to uh, have the mindset to get up out of here, man, all right? The the prophets and the teachers and preachers been preaching relentlessly, 
All right, concerning the um concerning us getting out of here, man. All right, but our people just love to have it so, man. All right, they haven't figured out what's to come. All right, they haven't figured out that this is real. They're still giving into marriage, eating, all right, and just wasting time, man. But ultimately, that's going to be their detriment. You got it, bro. Y'all bring up that stuff. You got three stuff. Yeah. I got what you're saying about, uh, you know, Kanye and all of this madness and how many uh, so called antichrists are popping up. This first John 2, verse 18. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard, that anti-messiah anti shall come, and even now are there many, many anti-messiahs whereby we know that is the, it is the last time. You got it. Yeah, so you could tell that we're at the end by just how much, like the brother just said, there's, a, there's such a lack of a fear of the Lord that's completely unprecedented. Even though we didn't have the truth growing up, we still had some type of reverence for a higher power. We still knew, you know, the most high is not something to play with, even though we were gone off of that, you know, Christianity and Islam and different doctrines, we still had a fear of the Lord on some type of level, even in our ignorance. But now Jake is just openly worshiping idols, openly blaspheming, just openly you got women talking about they're they're the most high. It's just it's at an all time high right now. And it's 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 worse than it was at the end of Rome, which this is the new Rome all over again. And you can see we we clearly at the end. Jake is out of his mind. The heathen are just I mean they're heathen, but our people, man, this it's the worst it's ever been. You got it out. Yeah, man. You got uh, Elon Musk, all right, that's saying by 2022, all right, you're going to have to um, you're gonna have to pretty much get that Karagma in you, man. It's good to go. <laughs> I guess it passed FDA approval and ratings, man. Yeah. <laughs> As they pass everything else through, man. All right? this is, Like you said, boy, it just start to get ridiculous at a point in time to where it's just, you know, it's a slap in the face, all right? You got the uh, you got the jab, all right. You can't catch the data to that in seventy five years. In seventy five years, you know, I speak as a man, but Abarakazai, man, the 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 kingdom, uh, heaven, uh, the the kingdom, or uh, the, the 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 kingdom of heaven shall shall be, you know, Abarakazai reigning on earth, man, bro. In seventy five years, man, Abarakazai, mm -hmm. that it be raining, man. But you can't even get data from this. You know, from this slab, man, this juice, all right, to, to 75 years, they'll be able to tell you what's in it, all right? You got uh, you got them coming up with an altar, an altar jab. They call it the vegan, the vegan juice now, all right? Uh, now it's going to be, what, more safe for the, to utilize or use. You got Kyrie Irving. He done been uh, watered all the way down to using the vegan juice, all right? Is a plant-based juice. <laughs> oh man, bro. This is getting hey man, it's getting far and beyond. Hey, if the Lord don't come back, you know, we would all perish. And Baba Kasha, one of you brothers could please get that. You know, if it if it wouldn't be so, bro, we would all perish. But go ahead with what you got, Ryan. You got something. You got something, Elder? You all right? You know what I mean? You got all right, come on, go ahead. Hey, just to back up what y'all were saying. How uh Jake Jake's Heresy, Jake's uh, infidelity, Jake's just degeneracy is at an all-time high. Not just Jake, but these heathens out here. These these people are at the worst they've ever been at any point in in human existence. As Elder Yashuamba like likes to say, we're in a people are exhibiting flood-like behavior. How people were before the flood hit, they were just mass degenerates, selfish, demonic, evil. God. All the all, all the darkest, depraved things that people knew were evil years ago are, are now are now said to be oh that's just a, a normal behavior. Psychologically, these are just little kinks or, or preferences people have, so it's normal to do it. So we're just completely bugged out out here, and the only thing that's going to fix it is 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 that judgment. All these different calamities during Jacob's trouble, and ultimately that nuclear fire, and then afterwards those hundred and forty four thousand hunters led by Yahweh Shai, uh, ruling with that rod of iron. But this is 2 Timothy chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 1. This yeah. know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Just look at social media. Everybody's about chasing clout now, having the, having the baddest Instagram page, Twitter handle, YouTube channel, me, 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 me. 
look at look at how good I'm living while all y'all are living like plebeians, covetous, boasters, a hey, uh, ye, Kanye West with the book, <laughs> yeah, of, book Yeezus, of Jesus wearing some it. wearing some uh some Minecraft looking boots now. <laughs> some some need to happen to him. Proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. And we're seeing that with this uptick of, of crime going on. What are they saying over in Los Angeles County? It's like the purge out here. You've got the yeah. head of the Los Angeles Police Department Union saying, just don't even come here. We can't even guarantee your safety. Hey, you have um, uh, capital, uh, uh, you have homeless, uh, homicides uh, tripling and doubling over the annual, uh, you know, with the numbers that they would usually do. You have places like Louisville, Kentucky, with number murders, man. You know, it's nothing going. It's nothing but grass there. It's all grass. You look around. Uh, homicides reaching all time highs. No polices. No crimes are being solved. All right, people are, are really. Uh, it says that in the last days that men uh, power shall stand in their own hand, man. All right, and you seeing these things, man. All right, you got you got uh, articles that showing well it's breaking homicide records, man, for All murders, man, huh? Cross All country and places you wouldn't even expect, man. Is it, bro? Like you got to fear the weird, strange energy in the earth, man. That something has to happen, something miraculous, something on the godlike level is about to happen, man. All right. Yeah, the article was saying this is is forbidden that you know uh you know unless a miracle happened, we going to war with Russia. All right, unless a miracle happened, and it ain't gonna be no miracle. That prophecy have to fulfill itself. The miracle so, yes, is that's happening, man. You got it. The miracle is the war taking place. It's the miracle that's, for us. That's a miracle, man. You got you you got it, Ryan. I'm cut y'all, bro. Oh, jump God, God. And hey, just down here, down here, it's starting to get like the Wild West on a on a on a on a, a highway exit. Somebody's car broke down. And while they were waiting for the repair people to come, they got they got robbed and, and shot. People out yeah. here just it, everybody out here is a, a gunslinger now. Yeah, it's, it's getting ridiculous. You got it. You got it. Yeah, that, that story was crazy. Like, you know, just seeing somebody pulled over. They need help. They're vulnerable. And your first thought is, okay, this is a lick. I think this is a perfect time to just run up on them, man. People's minds yeah. are just gone, man. Yeah, you. they didn't. So they, the people, all right, there was in an accident. They was out waiting for the police. This is what happened. The brothers are talking about down here. And then some guys sent them, so they robbed them. While they waiting for the police, after they vehicle had them got hit, after they robbed them, they shot them. Come on, man. This is what's going on on the earth, man. You got suspect, uh, you got suspected mice to human on um, jab transmission going on. All right, they saying the mice is biting people, giving them the juice, man. I mean, <laughs> giving them the, the, you know, the yeah, man. All mm. right, it's, it's it's getting ridiculous. Like everything is 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 just it's to this point, man. Where you see something, man, it, it just. Uh, Actors, football players just dropping dead. All right, they can't they can't say why. They say it was no foul play. The man just dropped dead. The Maris Thomas. All right, it's like, man, come on, man. You got people falling out. Put a video on that way. Everybody was just falling out who took the jab, man. In the middle of conversations, just just dropping out, man. Just falling out. All right, <laughs> fully functioning and just a fall out, man, and die. People, All right. People's if brains are exploding brain. in their heads. Brains exploding in their heads. You got uh, men in California, you know, the elder put in there, they, you know, they shooting them till they caught on fire. All right. And they're not even running. Listen, you're seeing videos and links where people are getting killed. And you know how you actually running and you like, I got to get away. The police coming. Jake is, is, is barely even trotting to the vehicle. Jake having 10 minute shootouts. All right, and you don't hear a siren police call nothing, huh? 
Ten minutes in a shootout is a long fucking time. That's a, minute, a long time, bro. Two seconds. A minute is a long time in the shootout. All right, you got. I a, got, a I got one for you though. The con. But finish your point. Yeah, you got a bus. All right, that was trying to get on. <laughs> I guess this was refugees. Uh, I mean, not refugees. Uh, Mexican children across the border. It crashed and fifty-one people died, man. All right, <laughs> I think they're trying to uh, find a way to sneak. You know how they sneak in across the border? Mm. To, you, you know, like the law, the whole bus, everybody died, man. All right, you got all kind of things happening here, man. You, you got people, uh, you know, at the border. They, they you know, mm. they're going to war. You know how many people die at the Mexican border every day? That's going without number, just getting killed. All right, it's like again, it's like a purge on every level. Would it be politic, financially, without everything is a purge, an open purge. You got it, Elder. Yeah, this is the second Ezra six, and and I'm gonna start at uh, twenty three. It says, "And the trumpet shall, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear it, he shall be uh, suddenly afraid. In the time, in the time, shall friends fight one another." My bad shall fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still. And in three hours, they shall not run. All right. And it says, uh, whosoever remaineth from all these that I told thee, uh, that I have told thee shall escape. All right. And see my salvation and the end of the world. All right. And the men that receive my bad, and the, and the men that are received shall see it, who have not tasted of death from their birth. And the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed. All right. And turn and, and turn unto another meaning. You know? Yeah. Oh, you got that. Right gun. Well, that's that's right, man. All right. You say the the spring's gonna stand still. Men's hearts gonna be changed into another meaning. All right. <laughs> Understand righteousness is gonna withdraw itself. All right. It's gonna be all out and okay, man. All right. That's the level we have reached. It tell you in Second Ezra nine. All right. That the day of visitation. If you could grab that riot, the day of the law of visitation is at hand, man. Where the Lord is about to visit the earth that He made. You know, say something. And one of the things I want to put, I said at that time, shall friends fight. Right, fight one another like enemies. And we see it. You see it, man. Like I said, it's already, you know, the, the, the chief of police in L.A. is talking about L.A. All right. L.A. is turning to like the purge, but shit, the whole country is turning to the purge. That's right. All right. People have, have become more scum baggage as they can possibly can man it's all about to come up it's all about what they can get man all right robberies shootings rapes burglaries you name it, it has, has gone the fuck up man it's only gonna get worse all right these are the days that were spoken of from the beginning of times now we're in them now what you gonna do man all right because you can possibly you know if you ain't got your head on tight, you ain't got your head on the swivel, you can possibly become a victim. Out here, man. You know, it, we in we in a place that there was formerly called the murder capital. And still, and still, it's still going at it. I mean, I'm talking about we can sit here on this on this computer tonight and present a lesson to you. And when we get off here, we can look on the news and over. Five, twelve murders that happened. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that, man. You know, which a bunch of them happened earlier today. Back to back to back to back, man. Yeah. All on predominant Edomite streets, man. What you would what we call like a place like St. Charles Street down here. Guy got his got his top blown away, man. You know? And then like the brother said, they're doing it to the point they don't give a fuck who's around. Yeah. That's how nasty it didn't got out here, man. Edomites shooting each other. Jake shooting. And it's, and it's going to, only going to get worse. Go ahead. 
Yeah, that became lawless, man. That's why that Second Timothy three, Second Timothy, uh, uh, that that the brother reading that's that's complete lawlessness, man. <laughs> Men have became lovers of themselves, trady, high minded, and when you when you maneuver in the world, just dealing with Jake from day to day, all right, you got just scumbag people. They're just all everybody for themselves, man. Nobody want to help nobody, nothing, man. All right, it's, that's why it says on. Um, where iniquity shall abide, the love for many shall wax cold, man. Yeah. All right? And the earth, is, huh? I was going to say, too, this is the first time I've ever seen people down here that don't even speak to each other. It used to be real hospitality down here. And real people speak to you when you about to, uh, go by. Even the roughest looking Jake. Like, oh, good morning. How you doing? Good night. There's none of that no more. It's doggy dog now, man. Yeah. But go ahead. Hey, you barely hear, you barely hear from your family. You might don't hear, might don't hear from some people in my family that are like January, man. And that probably be a nip and tuck. Oh, you got twenty dollars, you know, or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. Like it's it's hit and miss. It just seemed like the world has become a, a, a predominantly everybody for themselves mindset, man. It's all about I gotta get me right, all right. No matter how many heads I step on and get right, it's all about. The world is in a, a survival of the fittest spirit, man, when you actually look at it, all right? There's no camaraderie in the world. There's no trust, all right? Everything has okay. been compromised, man. The things that there's no communion, all right? There's no one real there's no uh, relationships. All relationships have been uh, tarnished and broken, man, all right? It's completely... It's like a, a separatism spirit in the world, man. All right? You want, got I, got, I got a precept to back up everything, mostly what we've been talking about and what's been said. This you is uh, Matthew 24. It's, uh, and 6, it says, And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. It says, for nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and shall, uh, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. All right. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many and this is the point and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold that wax cold man and that's you know that's to the point man <clears throat> all right that's to the point all right and iniquity is that which is what that's a form of of um again self you know, in this world, have have uh, and they and they have patent that self image in our people mind. You got selfies, you got Instagram, you got Twitter. All right, it's the worshiping and the idol and the idolatry of self worship, man. All right, it spoke about earthquakes. I believe that was you, Ryan, that posted a, a, a article in there as a swarm of a twenty four er, uh, 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 forty 40. earthquakes, and I I believe twenty four hours, man, or something like that, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So prophecy is, is definitely, all right, unveiling itself is popping, man, all right? Prophecy popping so hard, we can't keep up with it, man, all right? Like, we can't send enough articles through. You saw this? You got that? You ask a brother who see everything. He said, I ain't see this, 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 all this. You see? A brother, you know, a brother who own it, you know, he's like, I, I ain't see that. I, what? That too? Not saying the brother don't see nothing, but he was one who be, you know, up on it, man. All right, and brothers, like it's so much information coming out, man. It's coming out like a flood. It's a war on information. All right, you got all kind of antichrist putting out all kind of, you know, reverse uh, reversing the truth around. You got people putting out bad articles. All right, you got good articles. You got bad news mixed in with good news. All right, you just have it's it's a war on information. It's just a war on all levels of all things, man. All right. You got uh, these food banks, these food drives or whatever, man, the brother was talking earlier about how much they begging you to give to the food harvest and, 
things like that. Man, the brother Zamanka, he was like, as soon as you gun in the store, they blissing you and rushing you. Do you want to donate seven dollars to the uh second harvest food drive or the food? No. And then you go on the next aisle, you sure you don't want to uh another person come, another clerk. You don't you don't want to put two dollars to the food bank or the clothes over here. You know, it's just it's just a shortage of everything, man. Every store you go in, they ask, do you want to leave a tip? I mean, hey, for crying out loud, I was with the brother last night. The lady pretty much forced me to give her 20% uh off uh tip, man. She said, this is the policy. After I paid for what we had done, our services, man. She was like, it's automatically a 20% off. How it went, brother? How you went? Like you were asking, uh, you were going to put down, the, you were asking her the tip amount. She's like, oh, it's, it's automatic 20%. No, I what? didn't ask her. I didn't ask her. I wrote it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote the tip down. And you know, your t the tip is always to your discretion. It's never... You know, they they will recommend, hey, you do this or do that. But even Moab in particular people, they just, even people with money, all right, is forcing you to, like, I wrote, let's just say, for instance, I wrote an $8 tip down. She made me scribble scratch all over the receipt to put $24 down. I'm like, but this, but even if you add the top to this, she just was standing there like, I don't care, like, initially, it don't. You got to put 20, and there's no sign, it's nothing says at least 20% uh, tip or whatever, like, it's, it's nothing says that, man, all right? But, again, that's neither here nor there, but I'm just showing you the greed of the world that, that's what's happening in the world. It's a war on greediness, man, all right? People are going to stores, knowing there's people behind them that need additional stuff like tissue and particular shit. A person to go in there with a basket and buy 24 uh, packs of tissue, man. All right, he'll lead that what a whole fight gonna break out with the next two, three people come by, they fighting it for the very last one, man. All right, the world is in a chaotic mindset, man. You got agents all over the place, all right. You got people just you know, find on brothers' liberty, all right. You got all kind of things going on. You got to have hominem attacks against the men of the law, talking about we conspiracy theorists, all right. Like, it's all kind of things going on. But y'all brothers can bring some precepts out. Just wanted to get some, you know, some of that action. Y'all got something? God, this, uh, this Hosea 9 and 7, it says, The days of visitation are come. The days of recompense are come. Israel shall know it. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad for the multitude of thine iniquity and the great hatred. <laughs> Read that again, brother. Fire. Hosea. Hosea 9 and 7, the days of visitation are come, the days of recompense are come. Israel shall know it. So you're going to know when these things happen, man. The yeah. prophecy. Going back to what, 2nd Ezra 9, how uh, you, you measure the times. It says, yeah. the prophet is a fool, the spiritual man is mad for the multitude of thine iniquity and the great hatred. Yeah, man. And it's a, <clears throat> it says, and, and the pride of Israel testified to his face, man. All right. <laughs> okay. And they do not return unto you with their power, nor seek him for all this. You see what's crazy about that? All right. They will not turn back, man. All right. They will not turn back. And the Lord is all doing, uh, doing all this because of the wrath he had for Israel. And of course, he watched over his word to perform it. All right. Which he purposed that you could get that uh, as well, of course. Right. But the ultimate thing is that his people were not returning to him, man. Though yet he knew they wouldn't return. That's why he set a remnant to return. So he can what? Do these things in the earth, which his word has written. You see, when you calculate everything up, you start to see like, all right, all the things that's happening, all right, is, is in alignment, all right? It's like, okay, so people start to say, if there's a God, why would he let all this happen? Well, he have you in that mindset so you could be destroyed. And then you'll have people that say they have to be a God that's all this happening. Which who's going to what? Find a way, maybe repent, and what? Turn from their wicked ways, man. All right? So everything is one in the, uh, one against the other, man, and vice versa. Go ahead, bro. I got a precept. Hey, everything's, like you said, everything's one against another, and there's a, a time and a season for everything. We're not in, yep. in a time of peace and, and coming together 
and eating lollipops and, and skipping in an open field and being happy. We're coming into a time of misery, famine, hate, war, death, destruction, and judgment. That's right. But this is Ecclesiastes in the Bible, chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. And when I read these, you, you be the judge of which one we're in. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a mm -hmm. time of war and a time of peace. And you add a, and the way that you analyze time and you see where we at, look at what's happening. All right. That's the signs. The signs are the times. All right. How close we is, you know, how far we is. And, and, and contrary to popular belief of belief, well, at least the uh, the thought of people, you know, believing is, is, is and end up as well. You have a lot of people calling and asking things too, man. All right. Now, you have a lot of people still straying out of their way and waxing worse and worse. But you have a whole, a whole uh, multitude of people getting concerned. You know, I'm getting personal calls from people like, hey, man. Look, I'm trying to turn around. I'm trying to get things right. You know, or, you know, we're not a brothers alone or or whatever. We're not. And you, of course, you have your people going AWOL as well. All right. And fully just, you know, uh, fully engulfed in the world. All right. So the Lord even having that come around too. a great multitude is coming around. All right. In belief, you have brothers coming on a comment board. Where y'all brothers at? You know, trying to find. All right. So the Lord do have a balance in the earth of things, man. But right now, man, evil has multiplied, man. All right? Iniquity have what? Have uh, over polluted the earth, have exceedingly polluted the earth, man. All right? And the governor of the earth have allowed it to get like that. Yes, our power have allowed iniquity to reach the skies. All right? And it was intentionally done on his behalf. I know y'all don't say, oh, what is God doing? Why would he want everything to get out of control? No, it's in perfect control. Even when things are all out of control, all right? Nobody have an understanding of how things going. Nobody can get a grip or handle on things. The Lord is in full control, man. He haven't lost any control of it, all right? And the day that chaos break out, well, that's the day we get closer to our kingdom, man. All right? We pray for it. You know, I've been reconciled. We don't fall victim to it as well. But again, we waiting for it patiently, and we also anticipating it, man. And we praying for it, and we waiting patiently. All right? Simultaneously. But y'all brothers got it. Y'all got something? Uh, that's on the back of what you just said about, uh, you know, discerning the times through what's happening. This is uh, the gospel according to Luke chapter 12, verse 54. And he, which was Yahweh Shai, he also said to the people, when you see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway you say, there cometh the shower, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, you say, there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, can you not discern the face of the sky and of the earth? But how is it that you do not discern this time? Yeah. Hey, a wicked generation, what? Seek it a sign. Yeah. All right? But there will be no sign, but the sign of the prophets. At that time, you know, of course, you know, Jonah was, you know, called it. Jonah is back the day prophesying. Huh? He's talking to the people of Nivea because uh, the, the modern day Babylon, a.k.a. America. All right. It's, it's every kingdom mixed in in itself. Nivea, Egypt, spirit like Rome is everything, man. Yeah. All right. It's everything. All right. That's why it's the worst, man. All right. You have a. Uh, uh, you have uh, idols, all right, and, and, uh, and all those kingdoms carried away into Babylon, man. <laughs> Everything is here. 
all right? <laughs> Greek, ancient, you know, mythology, everything, man. All right? So, of course, right now, evil going to be what? At what? At an all-time high, man. All right? It said that he's giving a take, uh, what? Uh, get that in Revelation, huh? the red, The red horse come and take peace from the earth. God, well, that God. prophecy is in full... <laughs> In full effect right now as we speak, man. All right. Peace is gone, man. Get that too, Ryan. Um, I believe in Luke. He said, Thank not that I come to bring peace. All right, but a sword in Matthew 10. You got it on um, Amawai. On this Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. Yeah. Power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Yeah, power. Meaning it was put in his hand. All right. Power represents your hand, which your hand mostly do what? Control things, all right? So the Lord put power in the hand of E to control whether peace be on the earth or not, all right? That's why y'all don't get it when we say he's a one. perfect servant. He's serving perfectly. He's have taken peace completely off the earth. You got it, Zipan. Yeah, this is John 19, 11. It says, Shai answered, thou couldest not have no power at all against me except it was given from thee from above that's it it says where the power uh where the word of a king is there's power all right so the king on the earth all right had to get that word from yahweh shot that's how he get his power man i mean yahweh why yahweh shot it says i uh in proverbs 21 and 1 i got the king's heart as the rivers of water i change them whatsoever they please read that again um, yeah, this is John 19, 11. It says, Yahweh Shah answered, Thou couldst not have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. That's therefore, it, man. Yeah, it says, therefore, the, therefore he that delivered me unto thee has the greater sin. That's right. So you got no, we have no control, all right, over the temperature gauge in a world of how wicked it's getting. All we could keep doing is prophesying. Would it be like, y'all, y'all, y'all talking against, you know, y'all, you know, coming up against it, y'all fighting for what's right. Why things ain't changing? If God really with y'all and y'all believe y'all the prophets of the earth, why things ain't changing? All right? Because this man have a amount of months, all right, to cut up, that he's going to be cut off in the midst of his months, man. All right? Yeah, Break out what you got, bro. Got another one? Y'all can yeah, find out yeah. what y'all got after the elder bring it up. You got it. It's Daniel's Daniel's two and thirty-seven. It says, uh, "Thou, O King, art a King of Kings, for the Most High of Heaven has given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory." Yeah, giving it to you, and He gave you the kingdom. All right, to show ultimately to show the men that's going to rule in the next kingdom how to not fuck the kingdom up, man. <laughs> that was the sole purpose, man. How to learn evil. All right. I'm gonna give y'all wicked. I mean, I'm gonna give y'all wickedness and evil before y'all eyes, and y'all gonna learn by the way of experience, man. Because not only y'all lived in it, y'all rejected it, y'all once did it, uh learned to reject it, and then despised and hated it, man. So by then, by that experience, y'all have learned what it is to uh for wickedness, man, how to judge it how to uh, measure it according to the matter, how to scatter it, all right? <laughs> all things, man. Okay? Bubba, uh, I could bring this other one out real fast. You got it. This is, uh, you know, this, this applies to the, the ancient Roman Empire, but it applies to this particular kingdom today and the rulers of this kingdom. This is uh, Second Ezra 12 and, and uh, 1, it says, and it came to pass... <clears throat> While the lion spake these words unto the eagle, I saw and behold the head. Well, where I'm at. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Not sure I'm at the right place. Ooh. Uh, no, I'm at the wrong spot. Gone. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is it 38? 38. It says, Hear thou, and I will talk with thee. And this is 2nd Ezra 11 and 38. It says, Hear thou, and I will talk with thee, 
in the highest shall say unto thee, Are not thou it that remaineth of the four beasts whom I have made to reign in my world, that that at the end of their times may come through them? Yeah, that's right. That he gave the power, you know. Was... Go ahead. No, 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 you're right. Yeah, he gave him the power, man. All right, he gave him the power to take peace and ultimately to destroy themselves simultaneously. And right there, that fourth beast was the Roman Empire, man. And out of <laughs> you have a Roman revived empire that's built up off the same principles and morals, and Rome fell. It fell. All right, it, it fell. Medo Persian Empire fell. Greek fell. All right, the Babylonian fell. They all fell, man. All their times came through what? Their own wrongdoing. All right, their own. Maliciousness, okay? Your own Ooh, sins is going to bear witnesses against you. What you say, bro? I got another one in my head I'm cooking with. Yeah, your <laughs> own sins is going to uh, bear a uh, witness against you in that day, man. All I right? got one more. You I got, got one more. This is uh, Romans, the ninth chapter, and the 17th verse. It says, for the spirit, my bad. It says, uh, 17, it says, for the scriptures said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. Yeah, the Lord allowed wickedness to get so high to when he do call it out and correct it and get right, only thing you're going to be able to acknowledge is the Lord like, man, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah did that. You're not going to say God or Jesus Christ. You're going to say it was Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Even the heathens going to say it. All right? It says, every tongue shall confess. Every knee shall bow. That don't mean every knee in Israel. All right? That's every nation. All the creation is going to bow and say, look, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, is, that's who did this, man. All right? It's going to be known. So he said that, his, that he may be known. All right? That's why this confusion is at an all-time high, man. You got it. And just to back that up real quick, this Isaiah 42 and 8. I am Yahweh, that is my name, and my glory yep. will I not give to another. Yeah. Man. Plain. That's plain. Get Isaiah 17 and 7, huh? Right? This we is upon this day, man. All right. This is the day. All right. <laughs> that day of visitation, man. Go ahead, huh? yeah, this is Isaiah 17, verse 7. At that day shall a man look to his maker and his eyes shall have respect to the Holy One of Israel. Now, let me ask you this. Did Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah put their hands and making everything? Hmm. Yahweh gave the word to Yahweh Shah and he did what? Created everything. So it says that a man, read it again. So, because you know, they're going to say, oh, oh, you know, that's on the Israelites, man. Like, they're going to they gonna respect. No, 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 no. Go ahead, I. At that day shall a man look to his maker. To so his who? To his maker. It said a what? His maker. A man, right? Okay. All right, go ahead. A man shall look to his maker, and his eyes shall have respect to the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, whether the, his actual eyes or his pineal gland, his mind, <laughs> he going to have respect. You don't, you don't, listen, you, you don't have to be the children of the Lord, but you going to respect him. All right? Mm -hmm. And that's it. The Lord have those ones that these are my children, but y'all gonna have to respect. That's why I say if the heathen don't want respect y'all, we ain't gonna send them no rain. If you don't want respect y'all, how about Shem was shine? What he stand for? Y'all get no rain. Y'all get no eat. Nothing is going down, man. That's why they gonna have to have respect, man, or it's gonna get beat in them. Okay. You so see? Hey, we're gonna respect gonna be given when heads get to rolling. And we ain't gonna actually respect like baby. Yeah. Birdman, Birdman, uh, Brian, Birdman, Williams. We ain't asking for respect. You gonna give it? You know, uh, shit gonna happen to your ass, man. Yeah. That's yeah, right. People understand. Right, boy said, said before, heads will be in beds, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mouth and move. Heads yeah. will be in beds, man. We are gonna bring it to you, man. What it? It got the scripture that say you break break the horse. And then he'll listen or something like that, or or you or you or you whip you you whips yeah whips for the back of slaves. I mean, it's, I think it's it's you break the. It's going into it's going into a son, you know. Okay, a, a stubborn son. 
Yeah, it's going into a stubborn stump, but hey, you can liken it to somebody who's stubborn, period. You got to go ahead. That is Proverbs 26 and 3. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the ass, and a rod for the fool's back. There you go. <laughs> Read that again. <laughs> Proverbs 26 and 3. A whip for the horse, a bridle yeah. for the ass, and a rod for the fool's back. Yeah, a rod for the fool's back, man. Meaning what? Everything going to be all subjection. Anything won't get wild and out of control, the Lord going to put it back in control. And that was the whole reason for letting things get out of hand in the earth. All right? For crying out loud, the name of this place is Babylon. The word Babylon is Babal, which means what? Confusion. What makes you? In the kingdom of heaven, you got to remember, nothing is going to be mixed up anymore. Nothing. Fabrics, people, Animals, nothing. Everything is going back to his original way that it's supposed to be. So it wasn't that he have mixed animals up and mixed food and artificial flavors and crops. No, the Lord allowed he to uh, mix everything that he may what? Unmix it. Gather everything up that he may what? Separate it, man. All right. This was all strategically done. In the eyes and sight of Yahweh Bashim, that was shot to fulfill his will ultimately, man. All right? You got that Matthew out? Right? Wow. Bring it out, bro. This is Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Yeah, he came to send peace, but a sword, man. All right, a sword is a killing instrument. I believe we went into uh, 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 the, the, the video we did like a day or two ago about the instruments of debt, all right? And it's, again, you know, hey, we pray we don't get swallowed up by the confusion, man. I'm a why. Give me Psalm 71 and 1 to back that up, man, all right? We pray we don't get caught by the sword, all right? It says a uh, thing of... Um, uh, he came to send, you know, uh, put a put a, put man at variance with his father, son, mother against daughter. All right. But we pray we don't get jammed up. Go ahead. Out. Okay, the Psalms 71 and one in thee, O Yahweh, do I put my trust? Let me never be put to confusion. Yeah. Never. That we our feet stand. Uh, our foot stand uh, sure or uh, even. That's it. That's in Psalm two. Grab that. We pray that our foot stands sure and even, man. All right, that we don't be taken away. All right, that we don't be taken or caught by this flood, man. Because what water do? All right, water have a volume to it. It's heavy. That's why everything it pick up, it moves it. That's why the Lord entered the world in water. Because anything that had had a foundation of stability, it would have been uprooted by that water, man. All right, it was gonna be moved out of its course. And the law was uh, pissed off with the world, man. That's why this time fire is going to be the purifying agent. You got it? I'm looking for it. Now, fine. It is in, uh, it's in, uh, Psalms. It say my uh, foot even, I think, or something like that. I got you. Talking about Psalms 26 and 12. 26 and 12, yeah. Yep. Okay. Right. Psalms 26 and 12. My foot standeth in an even place. Yeah. The congregations will I bless you. How? Yeah, so our foot stand in an even place, man. What we mean by our foot, our goings, all right? Our mindset, all right? It's stabilized on the foundation of look. We pray to the Lord that we don't get caught up in the confusion. We pray to the Lord we don't go outside and have a, a mishap, all right, and end up next to him, man. All right, we understand things, man. All right, we see we might be, be getting defeated in a situation, all right? Just because you may be getting defeated in a situation, it may be a, 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 a test to you that you got to just take the little L to continue to continue. Man, we got to learn how to continue to continue, man. <laughs> that make a lot of sense. Yeah. Great, make a point, brother. <laughs> I just want to, I want to start up a little bit because you made a good point. Like all of these these judgments, we don't want to get caught up in it because we know that these judgments are for the two thirds, they're for the heathen. So you having that understanding, you don't want to get 
caught up in the wrong judgment. This uh still in Psalms 26. I'm gonna start at verse nine. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men, in whose yeah. hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in mine integrity, redeem me, and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth in an even place, in the congregations will I bless Yahweh. There you go. There you go, man. And this and again, we we're in a house of the Lord. The whole earth is the house of the Lord. Let's get that corrected. All right. But in the in that earth is a small remnant. What that little scripture that says is a is a is a, is a small a small saint a little, little sanctuary. sanctuary. All right, is is a little sanctuary in the midst of all this chaos. We're around this chaos too, man. But look at our mental stability, our uh, internal fortitude that's keeping us afloat. How can you be alongside all this debt, all this adultery? All this uh, lies, killing, stealing, and raping. Though, yeah, you walk in a tight rope. You walk in a straight rope. And that, that straight, which is, you know, that position of difficulty. When you can slip to your left or to your right. And make sure, uh, Ryan, you get that too. It says, let, let me not go to my left or to my right. All right? To make sure we don't get jammed up. You got it, Amwai? Come on. Let's Come on, Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 16. Therefore say, thus saith Yahweh, the Lord, Although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they, whether they shall come, where they shall right. come. Right, and that's again, that's how in the congregation where we bless the Lord. That's how we continue to bless the Lord. We continue to work for the Lord. The Lord say, "Look, I'm gonna continue to keep you alive." <laughs> right now, that's the that's the contract we got. Out. We, you know, we just trying to. Stay alive so we can keep serving the Lord. The Lord, like, look, I'm going to give you some benefits, all right? But the benefits is going to be you won't keep your head and your arms and your working body parts. Well, you better work for me, all right? You will get paid when I say you're going to get paid, all right? Other than that, clock in, all right? And don't clock out until I say clock out, all right? So as of now, we don't have no clock out time, all right? As, that's why we, we still teach and we still preaching in the midst of confusion, chaos, which the Lord going to clock us out. All right. The Lord going to punch our clock out times for us. Once we punch in, the Lord like I'll clock y'all out. And meaning what? When he clock us out, they come in. Ooh, Yahweh shine the angels. They clock in. All right. So nobody is never off the clock. Somebody is always working for the Lord according to righteousness, man. All right. Then when we take that clock out, we're going to clock back in with your Howard Shining Angels, man. <laughs> all right, it's well, no... I'll, but I'm going to say this, too. I don't mind having the overtime, either, because they're all going to be the tribune of the, of the kingdom, man. God, it's job, I, don't, I don't care about getting the overtime, bro. God. It's the real overtime. God. Yeah, it's that real God. overtime. Yeah. yeah. Esau, Esau have you work overtime and then tax like 60% of it. Oh, you made yeah. a lot of money? Oh, okay, yeah. Give me that, you know? Yeah, you get overtime with the Lord, he going to add to you some, yeah, 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 get you some more blood. You get, yeah. you're, you're, you're spilling more blood, all right? You're putting more servants into, you know, in, into slavery, all right? You're actually being productive. And overtime, you, if you're working overtime, you're supposed to be overproductive. You, you're not supposed to get nothing uh, uh, extracted, like taken. No subtraction should come from that. You should be rewarded more, all right? You should be re re rewarded more because you have over exceeded the boundaries of what you was uh, capable of, well, asked to do. All right. Just like with the Lord. You, if the Lord asks you to do this, you don't know this. He gave the man who he gave the five talents to. He gave him 10 over 10. He over rewarded them because he did what he was supposed to do. All right. When you run from what you're supposed to do. Then things supposed to be subtracted from you. But when you go over the top of doing it, all right, things are supposed to get added to you. Go ahead with you guys, Aquan. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm looking for I'm looking for him. Yeah. I'm looking the for flood, it. The flood is real, man. You know? And the information we have out here, man. And and we we this house, GMS Louisiana itself, we we Louisiana Saints, we guilty of saying this. 
you would be like, man, you know, nothing is new under the sun. And then the Lord sent us an article that drop our jaws out. <laughs> like, don't play with me. I'm the Lord, man. We thinking we done seen it all and shit can't get worse. Then we look at an article, all of us like this, like, like, Jay did that? The Lord did that? The Lord is the ultimate woo master, all right? The Lord will over woo you every time, all right? And he ain't even trying. Like, this candy, taking candy from a baby, all right? I'm gonna keep surprising y'all. That's the thing with the Lord. The element of surprise never stops. Jake likes surprise, not Jake. Well, look, I like surprises. I like, okay. Well, they got a big surprise. Oh, oh, one of them big surprises. Let's see if you like this. You say you like surprises, right? All right, yeah, for the greater good. But this is for your good too, Jake. That's why the Lord go, that, that is a surprise, all right? It's, it's a good surprise for a lot of people, man. You got some right? I got that one you called for. I right, will bring it up. This is Proverbs 4 and 27. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Yeah, man. Remove your foot, man. Because your foot is your guns. And your guns is completely predicated off your mind. All right? <laughs> okay, that's... That got to translate like that. So it's barely saying, don't let your feet go to the right. I put my feet to the right just now. All right? So you got to understand what that means, man. All right, ultimately, man. Don't okay. fall victim to what's going on, man. We already labels as minister society, all right? Even if you did no crimes, all right, you was a good Samaritan or a citizen in the earth. You, you probably ain't got no tickets or nothing. To, you straight up, all right? Your skin still so-called black. All right, so you're gonna get what incriminated, okay? Just it's the world we live in. We the servants in this world, all right. Servants ruling over us, all right. We princes ultimately and kings, but we're being ruled and reigned over by servants, man. All right, so we gotta what? Whatever they say, we are, we are, which is cool because we know that the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua ultimately know who everybody is, all right. Which are the angels, man? You see, y'all brothers got something? Kind of um, the, the comment board. We got something on comment board. Yeah, it's uh the brother Kalaya Psalms. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. 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 Psalms thirty-four and seven. The angel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai encampeth encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Yeah, that's plain, man. All right. That's plain, man. Uh, the brother Kabul got one on uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 17. Be not a terror unto me, thou or my hope in the day of evil. Yeah, Je uh, uh, Jeremiah also say, I, uh, I have I not hastened from being a pastor unto thee. All right? Like, I, I, we haven't, you know, we haven't went astray at the water, Yahweh, Yahweh, call him like Yahweh, Yahweh, that we haven't went astray from his word, all right, and just, you know, uh, been taken by the snares of the devil going back to 2 Timothy 2 and 26 because the whole, the mass majority of the world is under the own, um, the power of the devil, man. You see? And they can't, and they can't get out of it, all right? They haven't repented themselves, man. All right? They completely uh taken up, man. They don't want to repent. They don't want to repent. Uh, Cabal, you got Habakkuk 3 and 2. Oh, Yahweh, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Oh, Yahweh, revive thy work in the midst of the years, in the midst of the years make known, and wrath remember mercy. And this is a time of the Lord wrath, man. We need him to remember mercy. Fire precept too, bro. All right, y'all brothers on that, man. Yeah, and wrath remember mercy. And that's why we working. That mercy may, you know, supersede us, man. Because if mercy don't go before us, we doomed. We doomed right now. All right. We that's why we uh, you know, we open in our faith that the Lord will give us mercy, that our works will equate or be equivalent to mercy, man, that we may be covered. Unless other than that, if we see outside every day, we could get taken at any minute, any month. We could get taken in our own house. 
The Lord done had people come in people's house and take them to the spirit world, huh? You're not safe in your house. The Lord will put a spirit on some niggas, and they'll come in your house, four niggas, kill you, rape you, and eat you. See, he'll put a spirit on your woman to do your ass something. You're yeah. Chilling. Yeah. Chill. To jerk your ass a hundred times. With that old butcher knife, she be cutting them onions with her that bitch thinking about you, Jake. Let the Lord put, man. Yeah. Shit happen. That's why David said it before, man. We walk through the shadow, we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. That's one thing that we're faced with here until yeah, how about you shot come? We're faced with debt. All right. And uh, the hopeful elect, we're we're hoping to get victory over debt, man. According to uh there's first Corinthians 15, man. Chapter 15. Uh, right. we're faced with debt over here. Debt is at a Debt right now is at an all time high, basically because of the times we're in. Debt has had, debt has increased, man. As you can see, they got that 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 juice out, that juice putting people down, all right, and many other pestilence putting people down, and people putting people down, man, mm -hmm. all right, for the want of bread and water, because they don't have a job, because they don't have the the, the amenities that they used to have uh, two years two years ago, man. Mm -hmm. You know, like they say, pressure bust pipes. And everybody's under immense amounts of pressure, man. Large amounts of pressure now. So you, you're seeing people bug the hell out, man. You know? And we understand. Like I said, that's why we're not walking around as a chicken with our head cut off, man. We understand perfectly what's going on. Yeah. And we're in the perfect position, too, man. Yeah, we're in a furnace. This is the furnace of affliction, man. But again, it proves the potter's vessel. So how strong you are, like, the Lord, like, I had you around debt all that time that you may learn not to what? Fear debt. It says perfect love, cast it out fear. All right? And love is the what? The keeping of the laws. The working in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Perfect love, complete love, cast out fear. At this, I mean, where we at now, I mean, if you feel fall back or you looking back, What you gonna go back to? You gonna go blend in the world with this going on? You serious? <laughs> See, this is this that's not the answer. By the Lord, like, hey man, you know, you know, again, we have healthy fear, all right? We because we we faith, faith brings about a a percentage of fear, which brings out reverence and respect, man. You know, so we you know we we get it. <clears throat> All right, we're only to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. All right, and if we fear him, fear brings out understanding too. All right, it gives you an understanding, which an understanding gives you peace, and peace yeah. gives you what? Peace of mind, soundness of mind. All right, to understand things. So it's a, you know, it's a, it's a circle of things that one relates or correlates to the other. All right, that keep you in the state you need to be in to work. All right, the law said it. it uh, didn't David pray to the Lord? It's time for thee to work, O oh Lord, uh, or whoever that may be. Well, we kept praying. We prayed to the Lord constantly. All right, Lord, bring the kingdom of heaven to us. Well, this is the way the kingdom of heaven have to be ushered in. This is what y'all praying for, huh? No, I'm, I'm I'm thinking one when you said that. Hold on. Yeah, this is what we praying for, Jake. If you praying for better days, you finish, man. What are you praying for? Any Jake praying in the name how I mean, Jesus Christ, let the better days come, and let me have a good Christmas. You finish, man. <laughs> you in finish mode, man. Jake, finish, man. Ain't no better days. Jake praying for longer days. Lord, the day's going too fast. Slow him down. What? <laughs> they got a Jake that pray that shit. Like, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Jake praying for everything that don't count. Bro, Jake pray for everything that don't count, man. We got no knowledge. They don't, so they don't know what to pray for. Right? We praying for heart. We we praying for these times to increase. 
All right? But just that we don't be taken with them. And it's so vicious right now. You know, we, you know, I would rather die that I would fade and crazy. The more we hear the word, fate coming by hearing and hearing the word. It's to the point that, well, the men of the Lord, like, man, even if I got to go out with it for the kingdom of heaven coming in, come on. Just come on, man. You know, like, it's to that point, bro. It's that bad. Lot had a vexation of spirit for wickedness, bro, that that uh superseded his place of living. Like, he like, he like, it's so vexed out out here, man. All right? It's like, you just, you just want to be in, in, in peace with the Lord, man, at this point. We just seek peace, man. All right? We just seek peace. And peace is not on earth, man. Our rest is going to come up in the kingdom of heaven. That's why it says, uh, depart, uh, uh, rise up, for this is not your rest, man, and Michael. All right? Come up out of her. You see? At least we get out of here, man. We going to perish. All right? He will shorten the days for the elect seat. Abu Rakazah, the Lord continue to shorten him. And he shortened him, baby. It just was January. It's almost January again, man. Literally. All right? But y'all brothers bring out whatever y'all got out. I had that, uh, that Matthew. I was holding it earlier, but that's the spirit that came back out. It's uh, the gospel according to St. Matthew 24. I'm going to start at 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That's it. For the elect's sake. So the only ones going to pray for shorter days at this point is the elect and the people that believe on the elect or know that the Lord, you know, know that this is not the way to live. Anybody that got the right set of brains in their head, well, the right brain or mindset in their head, I did know like this is not living. It's, this is a, this is nothing next to living, man. All right? We constantly full of ailments. We constantly full of depression. Our people are on all kind of medication. All right? It's just no hope, man. Our people in the hood, pants fucking sagging down to their ankles, man. Our people ugly. Come on, man. This ain't fucking living, man. Our people obese. Some of our people extra skinny. All right, like it's like, come on, man. Our people smell like animals. All right, you got people who smell like debt, man. All right, get that in Jeremiah, right? Where it said, Debt has entered the tower windows. Believe it's Jeremiah 8 and 20. All right, into the, into the palaces, man. All right, like the elder said, man, it's, it's nothing but debt. You walk out, bro, the news break, uh, Apple have so much debt on it. All right. Every article is about debt, man. You found it out? I'm looking for it. This is in Jeremiah. You got eight and twenty. That's not it. That's not it. A it's nine. Nine and twenty-one. Uh, I got it. Nine, nine and twenty-one. Now, now we're gonna say nine and twenty. So I got it. All right. This is a uh, Jeremiah nine and twenty-one. For death is come up into our windows. And has entered into our palaces to cut off the children from without and the young men from the streets. That's it. Death. Death on the one I was looking for. Huh? Death on the one I was looking for. Okay, you got it. Yeah. That brother Kalaya got a good one on there too. So rock. No, Ecclesiastes in the in a in the Bible 1 and 14. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun and behold all is vanity and vexation of spirit yeah we vexed out about everything even the good shit over here we vexed out about us right? they ain't good enough man all right a man of the law you gotta want you gotta want more man all right the good shit over here ain't good enough it ain't compared to what we gonna get man we need more all right we need better we need the kingdom of heaven. We need righteousness to reign. You got it on. Y'all can know. This is a uh, second Ezra. Uh, seven and six. It says, there is also another thing. 
a city is built and set upon a broad field and it is full of good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and it is set in a dangerous place to fall like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. Right? right? And it says one and uh, and one only pad between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that it, it could not be but one man go there at once. All right? And this is one of the points the brother made me think about. It says, it says, if this city now were given to a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive the inheritance? Question mark, man. <laughs> Yeah, ain't no way to get the kingdom except we go through what's before us, man. And guess what? What's happening out here, <clears throat> we fully endorse and embrace it. Yeah, we on record. All right. What I mean by that is, for us, everything that's happening, we know it's being controlled by the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. So we fully, we with it. All right. If the Lord doing it, we got to be with it, man. All right, you gotta be fully committed to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, as a servant of him. All right? What you gonna say? I don't really like how the Lord doing that. What you mean? All right? No, we fully with whatever the Lord do or don't do. All right? If the Lord didn't do it, we with that too. That's the mindset, baby. All right? That's the mindset you got to be in, man. Keep your head down. Keep pushing. Keep working for the Lord, man. All right? While everything else take its, take its, take its place. All right? But that's probably all I had, all right? Unless y'all brothers got some more, whatever you're going to bring out. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Probably been made, man. All hell. All right? You got that, you know, you got the all demonic time, that P, that P, Mick time, which y'all know what I'm talking about. Just save, you know, strikes on the channel. It's all demonic. All right. The devil is at a fucking, uh, 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 the, the, the devil is, he, he riding around, you know, he running around seeking to devour, you know, roaring like a roaring lion seeking we may devour, man. All right. And don't fall to the wiles of the devil, man. The trickery, right? Don't be jammed up. We got a, 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 a manual, all right, that keeps us out of the way of the devil. You see? That we don't cross paths with him. And when we do, we have an a, a, a armor, all right, and a shield to block and resist him, all right, till he come back around again. Because he be back around again, for sure, all right? So we got to do is continue to ward off the devil, all right? That we may inherit uh, eternal life. So you know, hey, Abu Rakazada was that a fine to you, Akin, man? And um, keep y'all head up and keep pushing it on godliness and righteousness. But as we always do before we get out of here, man, we're gonna give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the items that's pushing the truth and sincerity. So next time we're gonna see Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.